Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and as you can probably hear, I have got a cold indeed. Um, however, I'm making you a video on the Battlefield 4 PC beta. So, Obliteration, a new game mode, uh, came out today. And uh, I just wanted to show you some gameplay that I had, some highlights and some thoughts. I have to say straight away that um, the gameplay felt um, quite, quite teamwork based. Uh, it's all about working as a team, and if you work as a team, your your team will really conquer um, this game mode really well. So I can really see this being a great um, clan v clan type game mode, because there's a lot of teamwork involved, there's still a lot of shooting, and there's uh, basically objectives to get. So it's a combination a bit of, uh, a bit like... Um, uh, conquest is uh, where you have to get the objective but here it's pretty uh, fast paced uh, you still got the big map um, and everything on on this map and uh, so that means everything can be played from one end of the map to the other however most of the the fight goes um, between um, the actual uh, skyscraper so you left and right you spawn there and you basically go in to try and take the bomb and take it to the objectives once someone has got the objective and they've got a good team around them it's pretty much game over um, it's pretty easy to win this game as i said with a good team um, and i don't really feel that it should change because it's quite team based type game and i quite enjoy that fact However, it's very close quarters. I really feel it's close quarters because at not one point did I really feel that uh, a sniper would be uh, beneficial. Even though I did use it at some points, I really feel that a um, close quarter gun, for example the AK-12, which is the noob tube gun to use, um, is a very easy, um, very easy gun to use and setup to use uh, for this game type. Whereas in Conquest you can use all types of guns and um, the assault doesn't come up to on top uh, most of the time. So it is pretty simple. What you have to do, you have to get the bomb and put it into the enemy's, um, enemy's uh, I don't know, MCOMs I guess. There's three different ones and what you should be wary of is that when you plant it over there First of all, it will blow up pretty quick, so if you're defending, you have to be um, aware uh, of that. You have to try and defend that area quite well. Basically, whilst, this, whilst for example, I'm running right now towards the objective, what you want to try and make sure is that as a defending team, you want to be at the objective right now, uh, one of the three objectives. So that's really important uh, to do because, as I said, the bomb does um, blow up pretty fast. Now, in terms of... Um, in terms of actually arming it, it is pretty quick to arm as well. It's a bit like um, Rush, uh, arming a bomb on Rush, it's as simple as that. However, defusing is um, faster than it would be on Rush. Um, so yeah, when you, so you've got the bomb, you're going to be indicated to the whole team that you've, um, that you've got the bomb. Both your team and the enemy team, you will show up on the, their mini-map and you'll be a big glowing dot, as, as you can see right there. Your big glowing dot for everyone. So it is very hard if you've got the bomb and um, you have to just try and stay alive. My my advice would be to try and stay undercover and always have some teammates around you. Now, um, that said, you can't always control that and people are going to do um, what they please. So, you know, if you're going to play with random people, have to bear that in mind. But try and stay close to your teammates and hopefully they should assist you in trying to take the bomb to the objective. To get when you get to the objective by the way you hold E to plant it down it's pretty simple you just press E hold it down and you uh, are able to fuse it another thing I should note is that once you are fusing you won't be able to um, shoot anything so that's pretty fair in that respect so do bear that in mind as well as a squad leader I also highly suggest always um, uh, attack or defend uh, pointing at pointing out an attack or defend on the bomb carrier, be it enemy or um, your own uh, your own team, simply because this allows a lot of um, squad perks to be attained really fast because your team is always revolving around this bomb. So I really suggest doing that. 
Apart from that, this map I don't feel was very well suited for obliteration. It is a great teaser to have, but I saw some other gameplay from Jack, Fra Jack Frags and those guys which basically showed some nice obliteration on a bigger map and I do feel that this could benefit from a bigger map because as I said this is very close quarters and it wasn't that much fun. It's okay as I said if you got a nice team but most of the time on Battlefield you'll end up with random people that you do not know and therefore you get quite frustrated um, especially if you play for the objective. I always play for the objective no matter what it is and um, because of that I ended up with a lot more deaths than I had with kills. Um, I went negative in most of the games but that said I always ended up near the top of the leaderboard because I was always trying to get the objective killing the carrier as you can see right now or or um, getting it and trying to arm it. I was always doing that and obviously as I'm trying to do that there is the enemy team is going to be crowded around there and I did play some good teams uh, out there and the good teams um, utterly destroyed me in terms of uh, my kill to death uh, ratio as well utterly destroyed me because they were just crowding around that bomb and playing as a team whereas my team were just scattered around uh, minding their own business and not trying to get for, not trying to go for the bomb so uh, that's another thing uh, to bear in mind so obliteration really does focus on team play um, this is quite good in battlefield because I really do feel it lacks it and in some respect I hope that obliteration teaches people which don't use a lot of teamwork to use teamwork because after playing obliteration you will realize if you're the bomb carrier or the whole point of not losing the game is to defend the bomb or attack the bomb or whatnot you have to realize that you have to play as a team and for me Battlefield is all about teamwork without teamwork it's not as fun and um, without teamwork it gets boring and annoying um, you get quite frustrated so once you've got a good team which hopefully talks with each other be it through um, voice or just uh, typing in it's a huge difference and plays a huge difference and hopefully people which um, get this from um, obliteration carry this over to conquest so personally I really enjoyed playing this but I would like to play it uh, for example with some friends and my cousin and whatnot uh, just because I feel that there will be better communication and it will just be a much funner game to play um, however, for the time being, playing it on my own, I did find it quite boring. Uh, and by that I mean, I'm not a guy which likes to stay in close quarters. I utterly hate using the AK-12 because it's such an easy gun to use. And I therefore do not like um, playing Obliteration on my own. Uh, it's all team based. All team based. I can't emphasize that enough um, on, on, this, on this game mode. But anyway guys, uh, hopefully this gameplay shows you a vast array of um, of kills um, and what you can do. I should also mention, as you can see, I'm camping right near the tank. Now, if the guy was clever enough, and I was beforehand, and I don't want to sound boastful, but if the guy's in the tank, they're two out of two, right? If the guy gets out, the, the gunner, then you have one out of two, so the, the main, um, the guy driving the tank, is driving the tank and... Um, the, the second guy um, can basically, the guy which is carrying the bomb, trying to get my words out, the guy which is carrying the bomb can get into the tank as a gunner and be protected by the tank's um, armor. So in other words, you can camp inside a tank and go from one object to the other. So as you can see right now, I am driving a car and I am solo, I'm driving the car and someone spawns on me. But I drive the car all the way to the objective. I actually do a pretty goddamn good job, I'm not going to lie. Uh, just because I go where the enemy wouldn't probably expect me to go. Straight under the bridge, which I highly suggest doing this um, uh, with a car. Because you go straight under the enemy and usually do not expect um, that. Especially if you're you're on top, they'll probably, expect, uh, they'll probably noob tube you or RPG you whilst they're spawning in. As you can see, parachuting in. Um, and just arm the objective. It is pretty easy, as you can see. Hold E, planted it, and you plant the bomb. One thing you should men uh, well, one thing I should mention is once the bomb blows, it will blow um, quite a big radius, and it did kill me uh, because I was just camping inside. Even though I was behind the wall, as you can see, the bomb is like around that corner, but it blows and it blew me up. But that said, it gives you a nice, healthy 500 points, which is great. Um, so that's basically equivalent to five kills. Um, so if you've got a nice team and you're playing all well together then what will happen is that you'll quickly accumulate some good points there 
and you can easily get some uh, uh, easy EXP, let's put it that way. So as long as you've got a team around you, you'll do fine, but if you don't have a team around you, then you're probably better off playing uh, any of the other game modes. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, hopefully you like this basically first peek at it, simply because um, it's just come out on the open beta uh, for everyone, and I just recorded it today, so um, it's as fresh as you can get. <laughs> so these are my first few rounds that I had on the game. Alright guys, on that knife kill, have a good day, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Take care guys, totally dubbed out, bye bye.